And so we are completing May, Awakening Trust. This week, I would like for you to look at remembering who you are. Now, of course, that sounds silly because you know who you are, but maybe not. Maybe you've forgotten how fabulous you are and why you're on this planet. You know, kids come on this planet and they come with joy. They come with this need to explore everything, know everything, touch everything, be everything. And they're so excited that we are ignited within ourselves. They're contagious. Their joy is contagious. And then we as parents, you know, our job is to take care of them. And so what we do is we start saying, now remember, don't go there, don't touch that. You know, that may not be safe. And that's part of our job. But sometimes what we activate is this thing called being cautious. And they start to not trust what they know. So I want you to think about your life. How all those layers of cautiousness may have deactivated or disconnected you from your innate knowing. You know, you are amazing really you're unique you came here to express in a way that no one else can and i know there are people in your life who who said beyond a shadow of a doubt you've changed me you've touched me you've opened my heart you've you've been instrumental in my transformation i love it when i get emails and i have calls from clients who say wow you know, that thing you said changed me. I'm different because of something you did. I loved it when you spoke on this. And it can't just be about Cynthia. <laughs> I'm not the only one on the planet who has that effect. We all do it. We all make a difference. We all are important. So what I would like for you to do this week is I would like for you to write down all the things that make you unique your hair color, your eyes, your talents, your gifts. And then I would like for you to write five people, the names of five people who said something to you in your life about how you've made a difference. I know they're there because they're everywhere. And then I would like you to write down a list of what you absolutely love about yourself and activate your inner child because they'll tell you some things you've forgotten. You have an opportunity this week to look at these lists because I guarantee you, if you look at them, it will make your heart smile. It is important for you to remember who you are because you are essential and extraordinary. Let's do a blessing. I am so grateful to stand in this awareness that right here and right now, we activate the inner child within us who came here to live, to be joyous, to explore, to bring happiness. I give thanks in this moment that from this place of activation, we are willing to see the gifts that we are, to see what makes us unique, to understand that we make a difference not only in our own lives, but in the lives of others. I give thanks that this week we go forth remembering who we are, as we continue to awaken trust, we remember that we are precious, powerful, expansive, dynamic, and mighty. And for this, I am extraordinarily grateful. I let go and allow it to be and invite us to have a blessed week.